Oh, hey, Terry. So. Did you find a parking spot okay? Yeah, like three blocks from here. So what's going on, man? You sound a little depressed on the phone. Well, I got this wedding invitation, and it's from Carly. What? She's getting married already? Yeah. Didn't you just break up, like, a couple months ago? Well, four months ago. And she's getting married already? Man, that sucks. Have you talked to her recently? No, I, I haven't talked to her in a couple months. But that's the thing, I don't know if I should talk to her or not. I don't know if I should go to the sweaty or not. Is she marrying someone you know, or...? No, but, no, but does it really matter? I'm part pissed off, part depressed. Man, at least it's not someone you know. That would be the real pisser. Having one of your friends waiting to swoop in like a vulture as soon as there was a bump in the road. Yeah, it is a pisser. But what does it matter? No, this just caught me off guard. I guess in the back of my mind, I thought we'd get together after things cooled off a bit or, you know, something. Then I got this wedding invitation. We said after about six months, if we were still single, we'd get back together and talk about it. I just don't know. Wow, that totally sucks. Yeah, I, I don't know if I should go or not, or, or if I should even give him a present. Maybe she's just doing this to rub it in my face. So do you really think she would do something like that? I really don't know what to think. You know, this time apart was supposed to help. I'm fr frustrated. And then I get this damn invitation. I don't know what to think. Are you really considering going to the wedding? Okay, personally, I wouldn't even think about going. Unless I could score some hot chick to go with me and piss off the ex. <laughs> Yeah, but what if she's trying to be nice and, you know, include me? And we end things so poorly, I just, no. But doesn't that piss you off? Hey, do you think she was seeing the guy while you two were still together? No, I don't think so. But I just don't know if I should go to this wedding or not. Wow, really? Really. Would you have invited her if you were getting married? I bet you wouldn't. You know what? I don't know. Well, if it's not for a while, you got plenty of time to make up your mind, hmm? I'm supposed to RSVP. I bet her mom's laughing right now. She never did like me. Uh, Mike, I personally wouldn't even think about going. But I think we need a female's perspective. And I, I got a friend that we can ask. Let me give her a call. Hmm? Hey, Monica, it's Terry. What are you doing? Really? Where? We're at the subway down the street. We have something you wanna, we wanna ask you. Uh, if you come meet us, we'll buy you lunch or something. We can talk here, all right? All right, I'll see you in a couple minutes. My friend Monica's on the way. I think she'll be able to help you decide, but I think she's gonna basically say the same thing that I did, and that's to stay away from the wedding. Is she cute? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, totally. Are you guys together or, uh, you know? Man, look at you, crying that your ex is getting married one minute and the next you're on the prowl. <laughs> well, I gotta keep my options open. I don't wanna feel like a complete loser if I do go to this wedding. No, man, Monica and I are just friends. Oh, hey, Monica. How are you doing? Good. This is my friend Mike. We've been friends since like hey. junior high. It's good to meet up. So Terry, what's up? Don't you want to order lunch first? No, I had a big snack earlier. All right. Well, see, Mike has this weird thing going on that we think a female's perspective could help out on. You see, him and his girlfriend broke up at, like four months ago, sort of a trial breakup. And, well, he just got an invitation from her to her wedding. What? Are you kidding me? That must really suck. You must be pissed. Yeah, well, Mike actually doesn't know how he should feel about it. He's wondering if he should go or not. Personally, I say, why even think about going? Why let the bitch rub it in? Hmm? So when's the wedding? In late June. Late June. What's your ex-girlfriend's name? Carly. Do you happen to remember the guy she's marrying? Oh, I left the invitation at my house. It's Vance Harris? Vance Harris? Oh shit. <laughs> that son of a bitch. What's going on? Your ex-girlfriend is marrying my ex-boyfriend. He was cheating on me with her. 
Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. That's what I was going to tell you. I got wind that Vance was marrying that bitch he was cheating on me with. Oh man, this is so strange. <laughs> My ex is getting married to your ex. No way! Okay, did you get an invite to the wedding from him? Hell no. He knows better than to do that. I went off on him a couple weeks ago when we ran into the mall. Then he tried texting me saying he misses me and how he's sorry. I texted back saying fuck off. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but I just had the greatest idea. You two should show up the wedding together like you're a couple. That would really blow their minds. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, I want to see that jerk again. Yeah, I feel the same about Carly. But it would be good to see the reaction on their faces. Yeah. Right? Man, I wish I could see the look on their faces. Dude, how could I get an invite? <laughs> really? We could do that? Oh, yeah, totally. And you could, like, both get them a gift and sign the card. <laughs> I think I'm liking this idea more we talk about it. The invitation is addressed to Mike and guest. I just won't tell them who it is. And you could get them like a DVD of that show, Cheaters. <laughs> now I'm really liking this idea. I could even wear his favorite dress. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on her mother's face.